Hello everybody, how are you guys? Uh, we just got word of an amazing development happening right now. This just came over the wire. The King Ranch in Texas has been named America's 51st state. Now Texas's King Ranch spreads over 825,000 acres in the wild horse desert of South Texas, which is larger than the state of Rhode Island. Today, President Trump commemorated the ranch as the 51st state in the Union, leaving Rhode Island, of course, still the smallest state. The King Ranch was established in 1853 when Richard Kling asked if he could buy the massive area around a creek-fed spring in the middle of the desert. State officials said at that time, heck, why not? Nobody else wants it. Now this story is developing. I'm going to tell you what we know right now and as we find out more come back and we'll update with further videos. Now Captain King was a riverboat captain and businessman. He was born in New York City. As a young boy he showed signs of future ambitions when he offered to buy Manhattan for 35 tops baseball cards in a Coke bottle he found in Brooklyn. He ran away from the uh, home at the age of 11 and show, uh, stowed away on a ship heading to Mobile, Alabama. Quickly discovered, the crew decided to teach him how to sail, and by the end of the trip, he was named captain. Only a few years later, he appeared uh, on Dancing with the Stars as one of the celebrities that you've never heard of before. He and his partner, Cheryl Burke, went all the way to the finals, but lost to Derek Hough and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who wowed the audience with a sizzling Spanish waltz that went out into the street and ended up at a local taqueria, taqueria five miles away. The King Ranch was the trailhead of dozens of famous cattle drives, including the ones pictured in Lonesome Dove, one of the most successful TV miniseries of all time. The TV show was shot in real time in the 1800s using crude cameras made of cowhide and spare saddle parts. Lonesome Dove cast members, including Robert Duvall, Diane Lane, and Tommy Lee Jones, remain some of the oldest living movie and TV stars in Hollywood today, each upwards of 125 years old. Captain King and his partners were the dominant riverboat company on the Rio Grande for over 23 years, starting in 1850. The partnership dissolved as their eyesight diminished and they crashed several riverboats into tourist traps along the Texas-Mexican border. King fled the ranch as Union troops moved in during the Civil War, heading to Matamoros, Mexico, until he gained amnesty and returned in 1865. His amnesty request letter to President Johnson mentioned his contribution to American dance through Dancing with the Stars and included a promise to introduce Johnson to Cheryl Burke, uh, to, to Cheryl Burke. Johnson actually dated Burke during a short fling, but she left him for bad boy Maxim Max Kimrakovsky who she secretly married in 1870. So a lot of history, and of course, this ranch has uh, always been one of the prominent features of, of Texas because of its huge size and, and in fact, defined American ranching for generations, including, of course, as we mentioned, being the source of some of the biggest cattle drives in American history. An amazing development, the uh, United States now has a 51st state that is actually located inside of Texas, which uh, again uh, shows evidence uh, that everything actually is bigger in Texas. As I mentioned, as we find out more about this story, it's just coming over the wire, we're getting the details in dribs and drabs. As we get the full story, we're gonna bring it right to you. Talk to you soon.